She was tenacious, she was very passionate about what she saw, and she brought the stories of all of those who had been impacted to the halls of power. Marlo Brzezica was a born organizer, a good leader. She worked to help civilian victims recover in Afghanistan and Iraq, founding a group called Civic. Civic's work is assessing how civilians are being impacted, why they're being harmed, and what are the ways to address and reduce. She went to Iraq in 2003. She went to Afghanistan in 2002. Marla's mission was collateral harm is not acceptable. In Iraq, Marla Rizika went door to door to determine the number of civilian casualties. And back in San Francisco, she kept careful records. They give $2,500 for a loss of life and $1,000 for an injury. That's not good enough. She went to Congress to get very comprehensive victim assistance programs passed, vocational training, medical assistance, educational grants to families. And she got the US military to also provide condolence payments. That was a big achievement in a very short amount of time. One of those killed was a young Bay Area activist who had devoted her life to helping the victims of war. Marla Ruzica died when her vehicle was ambushed near the Baghdad airport. After her death, there was a board that quickly tried to continue her mission. Two people were hired. When I joined Civic in 2012, there were five of us, and now there are over 100. We are now working in Nigeria, in Mali, in the Sahel region, Ukrainian armed forces, Afghanistan and Iraq, in Yemen, Libya, as well as on Syria. The core of Marla's mission has seeped through all aspects of our work, rooting it very firmly from the lens of the civilian. It's not like some external person coming in and is the savior. We're working with communities, building their capacity to do advocacy on their protection concerns. This is a little girl who I love so much. I think we use Mala's story to inspire. It's recognizing humanity. People are suffering. There are hundreds of hundreds of stories of survival from an airstrike or from ISIS attacks. Mothers who shared with me how they've walked over dead bodies fleeing with their kids in hand. It's important to see this, to tell the world that this has to stop. We need your support because we're not just reporting on how bad it is, we're trying to find a solution. When you have families who have nothing, you have to make sure they at least get something. I hope she would be proud that we have retained the central message of putting civilians first. The particular work that we're doing with communities is something that she would be proud of because that's how she started. It was like going house to house, talking to families about what they have suffered and bringing their voices to the public. This is Mala Ruzika, and we at Civic are continuing her mission to put civilians first. They are at the heart of all we do.